When I came here, basically, downtown wasn't where downtown is now. And actually, at the time, I lived on Binjiangdong, right on Guangzhou Bridge, so I had a perfect view of Zhujiang New Town as they were building it. Thinking back to so many years ago Just arrived in the city of Guangzhou Basically, the city's completely changed. Transportation's changed. When I came here, they just finished the third line of the metro. No, I think they're done like 20 something. The, the, the infrastructure's insane. So I like the river here. I like the speed of things. I like that everything was very, very tight and, uh, and everything was super convenient. So I just chose Guangzhou. What she answered almost made me cry. Uh, yeah, so my name is David Klink. I'm from Canada. And I've been living in China now for 18 years, I guess, since 2004. I studied Chinese in Beijing, and then I moved to Guangzhou, and here I, uh, for about 16 years. Very wrong when she said, Ching, 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 chong, wang, bang. I know she just wanted me to understand that it was wing, wing, wang, wang, wong, dong. I know something's going very wrong. I, I have a couple of businesses, so my music work is, is part of that. I teach uh, guitar and I teach drums. So that keeps me pretty busy. I have a lot of students. I used to teach in high school. But now I just teach here and I teach one-on-one. -on -one. So with one-on-one -on -one classes, you can really focus on creativity. I, I really push my students. I, I teach them skills and then I make them practice their skills, obviously. But a big part of what I do is teach them how to be creative. Also, I write music uh, for myself primarily because that's what I really love, but I also write music for the TV stations. I play all the instruments myself um, and I record everything myself. I'm my own engineer, my own producer. It's my passion, so I love it. The, the, the big issue about a foreigner is, is that I I haven't felt like a foreigner in China for like, unless I look in a mirror, I guess. But like, when I look at Chinese people, or I find we're all basically the same. Like, and sometimes I can't even tell the difference. I just find myself like, this is my home. So to build a life here, and I'm very comfortable here. I've got a lot of friends, I've got a few businesses, I've got um, my music, I've got everything I need, it's, it's great. I consider myself very lucky because I don't like to place a, a line or a distance between like work because I think they're all part of my who I am. You know, some people they have to, I don't know, have a drink to relax. Some people have to watch TV or some people like to get a massage or something. I like to sit and focus and concentrate on something and it just makes me feel great. But the focus you have when you're writing and, and you're creating something is really amazing. You know, in life, you have a, a telephone all the time and it can always bother you. Uh, and then people can call you, you people will send you WeChats. There's always something that will kind of disturb you. But here, this, this place is soundproofed. I can lock the door, I can turn my phone off, and I can just kind of focus on a real thing for a while and create something new, which is a, a beautiful feeling. I've, I've written three songs for Guangzhou, but I, I think jazz would be cool too. Jazz just has like a, a good swing. Guangzhou is a pretty sweet in town. It moves. Every day I leave my home, I go around, I see people's faces, I see their stories, I see people on the street, I see happy people, I see sad people, I see busy people, I see bored people, I see all kinds of people. As an artist, as a man, as a person, uh, Guangzhou is, is, a, is a part of me. I'll, I'll, it's a part of who I am. Oh,